Quelita. Ow, fuck. Damn it. Look at that shit. Back by popular demand. Fouled up cooking in the kitchen. Today we're gonna do our fouled up cooking stuff with boneless quail. It's a game bird. I'm gonna stuff it with pine nuts, what I call fig jam. It's a mixture of dry figs, currants, raisins, papayas, dates, and we're gonna rehydrate them with sherry wine. We're gonna toss together with quinoa, roasted shallots, and then we're gonna finish it with a sherry wine sauce. If you go back to my videos, you can see how to make chicken stock and turn that into a sherry wine sauce. First, we're gonna take our pine nuts and we're gonna toast it in a saute pan with a little bit of oil. We don't wanna make the saute pan too hot because we don't wanna burn our nuts. So we take our raw pine nuts, we give them a little, little bit of oil and give them a little bit of toast. Come on, baby. Come on! This is how you toast them in a pan with a little bit of oil. Not too hot. See how the nice blonde nuts turned into brown nuts? Now we're gonna fold in our shallots. A little bit of salt. Because we wanna bleed the shallots. We wanna pull the moisture from the shallots to stop the cooking so that the pine nuts don't burn. And then we're gonna add our figs and dried cherries and such. Give that a little toss. And then, I'm gonna make it wet with a little bit of sherry wine. Light it up, baby, we're gonna light it up. Woo! Once that alcohol cooks out, we throw in our quinoa. And then we finish it with our friend, yours and mine, butter. More fat, more flavor, more flavor, more better. See, we don't want it, we just wanna do a light saute. See, our stuffing's done. Now we're gonna let it cool for about five minutes, six minutes, because we don't wanna cook the inside of the bird before we cook the outside of the bird. So now we made our stuffing. It's cooled. I'm gonna stick my fingers in this little bird. You wouldn't dare. Just to open it up so I can put the stuffing in. What's the matter with you? We're gonna take our spoon and we're gonna stuff it. Get all the nice ingredients, the pine nuts, the dry fruit, everything. Get it in there, it looks like a, like a, it looks like a Christmas turkey. Looks like a Thanksgiving turkey. But for one, now that we're nice and stuffed, I'm gonna season it with salt, pepper, of course. We're gonna put some oil in a hot pan. And we're gonna brown the bird on all sides. I'm gonna start with the back. See how it sits nice and pretty. We don't want to brown it too much because we're going to put it in the oven. And then the oven's going to help us brown it as well. And then we're just going to give it a little flip, put it back in the heat. And then I'm going to pop it right in the oven. And that's 400. That's a 400 degree oven. Approximately 15 minutes. We can cook these. We don't want to, we don't want to overcook them. We want to make, it's a game bird, so we can eat it medium. Still, it's juicy. Just want to make sure that the legs are cooked. All right, let's get their quail out of the oven, yo. It's time. Ooh, baby, look at that. Still laying down ass side up for me. Let's flip it over. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take out some of the stuff that fell out of the bird, and then I'm gonna return the pan to the stove. And now we're gonna make a pan sauce. Once it gets all sizzly, take a little sherry wine. Light it up. Quail on fire! And then I'm gonna take a little bit of my chicken sock and we're gonna reduce it all together. Once it's hot, we taste it. Good. Turn off the flame. Make the move to the plate. So we're gonna gently pull our quail from the pan because we don't wanna lose the stuff thing. And then we're gonna move all the undesirables out of the way. And we're gonna sauce it up. A little bit on top, a little bit inside, a little bit more. And there you have it. 
fouled up cooking in the kitchen.